the seven figure blueprint, I'll wrap it up and summarize it in three different phases. Here we go. Number one, you trade time for money. If you're working for somebody, just know that this is temporary. Listen, if you're an employee, be a very good employee. Be a great employee. Because if you think you suck as an employee, you can do great as an entrepreneur, you got to fool yourself. And here's the thing too as well. Work for a small business, work for a founder that you trust, that you respect, that you know has a vision, that you know is going places. Work for him and find out all the lessons you can from your temporary time working there. The second one is cash flow over expenses. Let me explain. At this phase, you're learning how to recruit and build a team. You're learning how to be a good manager. You're learning how to become a good boss to your sales team, to your marketing team. You incorporate standard operating procedures, SOPs. You're learning how to understand processes. You learn how to scale a business from producing one product to five products and moving 10 products, 100 products at the same time. I'll give you an example. When I was a self-employed type of person, I was just an independent one-man operation. I'd sell one year, 100 plus insurance policies and retirement accounts. Great for me, right? Awesome, I mentioned to you earlier, that was a 300,000, 350,000 out of your income, but it's a one-man operation, no team. But the moment I started building a team and started incorporating standard operating procedures, understand what our KPIs, our key performance indicators and objectives and key results, to focus on productivity, not just the activities, guess what happened? We went from 100 people helping a year with financial literacy and retirement planning, insurance planning, to over 200,000 agents over the last nine years. Guess who won? Our clients won. Why? Because so we decided to understand that our business is here to help people and serve people, and I can't just be a one-man operation. That's why income, cash flow over expenses. Third phase on your road, blueprint to seven figures. You might, instead of running your own business, you might want to use that cash and capital to buy other businesses where you hire the operator. You hire the guy that is there that does the day-to-day, -day, does the hiring, does the firing, does the execution. You hire the operator, they do the day-to-day, -day, you still get paid. Why? Because you own a piece of the business. You got money working for you. That is a great pathway to get you to seven figures. And also part of this third phase is this. You're going to be a master at processing issues. Yes, you want to get paid the big bucks? Learn how to process issues. You want to get paid the big bucks? Learn how to minimize and eliminate distractions. You'll be able to go from six figures to seven figures. It's going to involve a lot of processing issues because guess what? When you decide to do something big in life, you have to expand your bandwidth. You have to expand your capacity. So therefore, there might be also a very appropriate way for you to invest in your own personal development. That's why I wrote the book, Faith Made Millionaire. Because you know what I realized at this point? I'm like, oh Lord, help me out here. Oh Lord, how to help out with the clients that charge back or clients that turn away and say no to me. What about the people that quit on me? A lot of faith, oh Lord, you open up new markets to me. A lot of faith is in this process. Faith over fear. And so in this process, I learned how to manage my ability to overcome distractions. And guess what? Because I learned how to overcome distractions, because I learned how to minimize fear and increase faith, guess what I did for everybody else in my company, in our mastermind and our mentoring? We helped them do the same. So they're building a business, six figures, seven figures, eight figures, now because they learned how to master this great trait, this third phase of the seven figure blueprint. That being said, which phase is most important to you? Which part of this, how money works, you agree with? You don't agree with, please put it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Who knows? We might react to it in a future episode here at the Seven Figure Squad YouTube channel. That being said, make sure you subscribe, hit like, and share this with your friends. They're aspiring entrepreneurs with growth of sales leadership and entrepreneurship and faith and finance. From Dallas, Texas, I'm your money smart guy. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. Bye bye.